All right, Arash, you were on the duty today. <laughs> the duty. The sauce or toss duty. Uh, here's a joke. For, hey, here's a reference for all you uh, boomers out there. Arash is just doing his sauce and toss duty. That's a little Kim Mitchell for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Please, just can someone just do something on the Vancouver Canucks so we don't have to we keep vamping about Kim Mitchell. Hey, he is a Canadian institution. You can see him for free at any Canada today around the country. Sauce and I'll toss it. Ryan, you ready? Yep. All right, the Donnie. Um, Ryan, we should all be groveling to the hockey gods that the Canucks did not get rid of Tyler Myers. Uh, Do it. What? Do it. <laughs> Sauce it. I don't know. I really like Ah, oh, ma Maron. I really like Akito uh Hiroshi. But he's not fit. Well, he- Rick liter talk came out and was like, "Yeah, he's a little chubby around the waist." That's literally what he said. Him and Dakota Joshua. Him and Dakota Joshua w- going to Hitting t- the the buffet. A little the th- coastal renaissance buffet on the way to training camp. They're having too many <laughs> of those ice spiced lattes from Dunkin Donuts that f- has like 46 grams of sugar. They went on the little East Coast trip, and they're uh, the, the, the chock full of sugar now. I'll sauce it then. Thank uh, you. All we've ever wanted is is Tyler Myers in the depth position. I remember Craig Button many many moons ago saying that he's a third pairing defenseman. Yeah. So if you have Craig, if you have Tyler Myers as a third pairing defenseman, all the power to you. Yeah. Well, guess what? He's not going to be a third pairing de- defenseman. He's you know my hot take. He's going to like come out and play with Quinn, and he's going to be great. Yep. Can I also drop a quick asterisk? Yeah. Uh, there is a, a item on Sausage or Toss It that does not affect the chalkboard behind us. So do <gasps> not big. Oh, no, do, I'll, I'll add a little bit. I'll, I'll but do not it. try no, 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 to no, big brain us. No, 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 no. But it's a good one. No, it is, but I'll, I'll, I'll word it. Sure. Okay. Okay, here you go. There we go. Th- Ryan, great save. Thank you. Luongo. The cash cow From the season's here. 2007 to 20... What, what season you got? 2015 he got traded? 2014. 2014. He's doing great. Great ring, save. O- ring of Honor or Retire? Did we talk about this last week? No. Ring um, of Honor or Retire? Right now? Yeah. Ring of Honor. And I'm going to tell you this. I feel bad for Roberto Luongo, but he is a victim of circumstance. What does that mean? We're in sauce and toss it now, but no, no, go, go Save ahead. it. We'll do it after. Save it. Uh, Ryan, the new Canucks Jumbotron will, will result in a game being postponed this season. La- okay. That, the beginning of the third period, was so funny because they had an amazing, before you say sauce or toss yeah. it, they had an amazing shot of, the board, the the old dudes oh. trying to do the board. And I don't know why they cut away. I'm like, no, no. This is literally every 20-year-old person with parents. Just keep it on there. And we're like, no, it, no, okay, then press it. Like, none of us know how to work the board, but we can probably surmise what did it means. So what's crazy about that board, um, that little switch gimmick they had. Yeah. It was essentially the same one if you were at the Langley Event Center as you were at the, the Rogers Arena. The They're two different. Like that is not about like the video production. Yeah. It is about getting a, a score clock to work. Those are the most f- dumbest and finickiest things known to man. Dactronics is the monopolized uh, scoreboard people. Yeah, they got to figure out their. They got to figure it out. Okay. Um, so I will. Toss I'll up. toss it. I think that thing is beautiful. I don't see any issues with it. Um, uh, Drake uh, fell on his sword. They had to postpone Aubrey. the concert. Aubrey. Um, and much like Drake, who started uh, on Degrassi in a chair, um, the scoreboard Jimmy. started at the bottom, and now it's up there. Wow. Look at you, Dad. Look at you, Boomer. Ken uh, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Alexander Ovechkin drops before 40 goals in a season this year. Now, I say this because it's fantasy hockey season, and there are certain keeper <laughs> leagues. And uh, certain people own Mr. Ovechkin, such mm-hmm. as moi. Oh, you have him? Yeah, I, it's from that uh, he's, early guy in here. He's still fine. Um, yeah, he's going to pop. But, like, has he ever scored? What's his lowest goal, goal total? I think it was, like, 33 one year. Yeah, I think he could have but it. But that, that was in that weird period where he was, like, 
we thought it was he would like turn 32 or 33. Oh, yeah. And we're like, ah, oh, no, he's 25 goal guy now. Oh, even if he scores 30 goals this year, um, I'll sauce it. Um, I think he could, he will drop, but it's not going to be that concerning. Dramatic. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to turn. Okay, and now for the. I got this. Uh, we will not be able to watch the new new documentary. I'm just here for. Let's see. Yep, 30. it's fine if I rem- I mentioned the riot. It's 30 for 30. It's fine. We will not be able to watch the new documentary, I'm Just Here for the Riot, based on a certain um, certain final of a sporting, sport, event. a sporting event that we talk about on this, uh, on this podcast back when, I don't know, I was uh, in my mid, early to mid-20s, and uh, let's, j- yeah. Uh, I'll not, sauce it. Yeah, no. We, oh, get, sorry. No, no. Hang no, on. It's still the, yeah. uh, not because of the riot footage, but because we emotionally cannot watch any of the on ice footage from that night. Um, I toss it. I disagree with your oh, with your uh, claim. Oh. Um, it's also, I don't expect there to be that much on ice footage. Okay. And I saw the trailer. Yeah. Um, I I liked it, and it's. I hope they kind of dive into the background of how it went down and ways it could have been prevented because through uh, um, unnamed means of my own, of information channels, I kind of got an insight into what went wrong with that riot. Yeah. And I hope that kind of comes to light a little bit. But Well, they they found some people that were like, actually took part in the riots. Of course, everybody took part in the riots. I didn't. I I wasn't there either. I was literally at home crying. So was I. Were you? No, I was really, really drunk. Though. Yeah, there you go. I was drinking out of my makeshift Stanley Cup. <laughs> I was really, really drunk. As he, as he sits and like behind us is just all this like roots paraphernalia. I'm like Ryan. You never told me where you got all this. Stuff. Where'd you get all those jeans? Where you get all these jeans from? Uh, toss it. I think what? it's. Gonna, I think, I, Ryan really loves the Hudson's Bay Company for some reason. Oh. There is a blanket on. Uh, oh, on no. <laughs> literally right here. Oh no. Um, oh, it no. looks aesthetically pleasing, but it's a very problematic uh, Vancouver, company Vancouver and part Police, of our history. Vancouver Police Department are going to watch this episode and they're going to like trace it back to. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ryan. Yeah. Don't worry, Mariners fans. Shohei is coming. Um, I will sauce it. Do you um, think it's gonna happen? It's, it's. I'm. I'm a huge Mariners fan. I don't know. If you you, know. I learned everything I knew about the Mariners from this cat to my camera. <laughs> Meow. <right? laughs> it's really what I would say. Uh, I think it's down to three teams in uh, in the West: two National League teams, uh, San Francisco and L.A., and then the Mariners. And I think the Mariners have a slight edge if they market themselves and approach Shohei correctly. Yeah. And, and you know, it's basically like... You're already the most popular baseball player in the world. And by playing with for the Mariners, you will then get even more access to the fact that uh, your home country already loves yeah. the Mariners. Yeah, like the Mariners really respect the Japanese elements of the game and, and their stars and Ichiro and, and, and several others that have come since. And, yeah. and it's, it's not, it's not, um, I don't know. It's something, it seems very genuine. And, gotcha. some, and I, and I think so. And two players have come out since they got eliminated on Saturday night, basically saying like, I wish we spent, by more. the way, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Let's pour it out. That's okay. You look at the look at the standings. They lost. They were a game back of uh, some team from back east that nobody likes. Um, the Jeez. players have already come out. You know, in a similar post twenty twenty one season or post twenty twenty bubble season when right. all the Canucks left, and the the remaining guys are like I you know, I thought they would get us some more help. That is kind of the Cal, Cal Raleigh came out. Cal Raleigh did. And look t- at this. This is now a Mariners show. <laughs> Ty he, France backed him up. There's nothing on this that says that Cal Rally, Riley said that. No. I knew that. I just remembered that. Yeah. I literally just remembered that, and I brought it up on the show, and here we are. That's why you're speaking at my wedding. Ru- I'm not going to speak. I'm going to sing. S- sing. I'm going to sing. <laughs> can I get a few? Can I get a few? Can I get an E, e minor? 
I don't even know what it. Uh, sure, uh, Ryan Connor Bedard has now been to a McDonald's in Chicago. He's absolutely been. No. There is no way. Toss it. He's living in Chicago by himself. His mom's all the way over in Lynn Valley. There is his mom's there. No, I'm pretty sure no. she's made the no. Jonathan Taves like no. pilgrimage to the no, shy. No, 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 no. Um, she's in Lynn Valley. People got toss a lot it. Or oh, sorry, um, toss it. I believe the Mc the no McDonald's. I've been listen. I've heard this. I of- I am so. It is the biggest biggest lie in the history of lies of Connor McDavid or Connor Bedard. Sorry, mm-hmm. um, a, a North Van kid speaking coming from a North Van kid has never been to a McDonald's. Uh, North there- North Van is not a McDonald's culture. I hate to break it to oh, you. Yeah, how can you say that? But you have never grown up there. There's only three Mc three. There's three drive through McDonald's. Yeah, one without. That's not enough. Get with you, 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 okay, where are the McDonald's? Lynn Valley. Okay, there's one in Lynn Valley. Westview. Westview. There's one on Main Street. Yeah. There's one on um, uh, Marine. Yeah. And there is one... In the C-Bus Terminal. In the C-Bus oh, Terminal. Oh, he wouldn't have known that and because I'm actually from North Vancouver. There's only two drive throughs though. Ryan, this is my country. That's true. True. Uh, no, he seems like a kid that has been Good. bred for excellence He's since been... like <laughs> since they <laughs> okay, okay. look since they like when they realized he had a job oh like god. that his like ah his <laughs> his makeup is perfect no, for we, hockey. Oh my god, I don't know where we we, we should put an edit point there. He's That's been, not an edit point. He's been bred for excellence. <laughs> yeah. Fine, he was raised for excellence. There we go. He was raised for excellence. But I, no matter what Connor did, Connor Bedard cho- cho- chooses to do with his life, he wasn't told at the beginning that the only thing you can do is play hockey. I don't even think he can have any fun. And no. McDonald's is fun. McDonald's is great. You ever yeah. been to a McDonald's caboose? Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Let me tell you. Boundary. Let me tell you. Since it's not, this is more of a loosey goosey show. Yeah. Uh. I got uh, the, the hotcakes, the pancakes from McDonald's. <laughs> You're so, so old. Good. So good. Yeah. Oh. Breakfast. I had no, McDonald's. No, I, I got. I had them at like 10 p.m. because me and Katie were just hungry, and I just uh, went and got. I was like, this is this is the lap of luxury. I had to get some McDonald's this morning because I got some cavities filled, and I oh, to eat. did you pay anything for your dental? Forty-two dollars. Fuck. Get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's uh, my employer, Ryan Shap, is increasingly stingy. And speaking of stingy, Arash had toss it or toss it duties, and he only gave six of the usual seven. All right, so- damn it. Okay, the the Eastern Conference will win the Stanley Cup this season, Ryan. Yeah, will they? Sauce yeah, Carolina's going to win. Carolina's okay. Gonna win. Carolina's real good. Okay, Ryan, now free form of the episode. 